This Friday, we are going to cover the disappearance of Frederick Joseph Bain. Now, I know his his last name is spelled B-O-E-H-M, but um, his last na- name is pronounced Bain, as in B-A-N-E, as in the villain in the Dark, R- Dark Knight Rises uh, movie, Bane. He disappeared from Marshall, Texas, another Texas case, uh, on January 25th, 2001. The guest for that episode will be his sister, Jolene Oney, O-N-E-Y. And the title of the episode is Memory Imperfect. And the reason it's called that is because for the last 19 years, Jolene and the rest of her family have be- believed that a certain sequence of events happened that led to, uh, they call him Joe, little Joe, Joe's disappearance. Well, recently, um, Jolene was able to talk to um, three people who were the last people to see Joe that night of January 25th, 2001. And their stories have changed in the last 19 years. And it's going to be up to all of you to decide are the, is, are the stories that they're telling now different because they just don't remember what happened and they're making something up? Or do the stories not match because they lied back in 2001 and they can't remember their lies all these years later? It could be something that's very innocent. You know, 19 years ago, I really don't remember. Or it could be, well, I don't remember the lie I told back then, so I'm going to have to generate a new one. That's going to be up for you to determine. But their story is that Joe had been living with his, his buddy, uh, Coley and Coley's girlfriend and her children. He'd moved in with them for a couple weeks. And then Coley's uh, mother had come to stay with them for a three day for a few days. And so all of them were under one roof. The story, the story originally was that the home phone rang. Coley's mother picked it up. The call was for Joe. He, 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 Start, he got the phone. He started talking to whoever was on the line. He hung it up, left the house, and as he was leaving, he told Coley's girlfriend, uh, I'm not going to be back tonight, so it's okay if you lock up the house. I'm not going to be back tonight. He walked off, never to be seen again. Now, we know what we think about people where the story is, well, they just walked off and we, you know, nobody saw them. We know. Well, just recently, uh, Jolene was able to talk to Coley. It was, she was able she tracked down Coley's uh, girlfriend, Angelia. Angelia. She's, they're not a couple anymore. And she also got to talk to Coley's mother. Well, their stories are different now. The claim now is that the call did not come into the house phone. It actually came to Joe's cell phone that he had at the time. And that he was the one who picked up the phone, not the mother. In addition, Angelia now says that, yes, yeah, she saw him leave. And he said that, you know, to lock up. But she also said, well, I just thought he was going down to the corner. Well, why would he, you know, if you're thinking that, why do you think he was just going down to the corner? But he also say, well, I'm not going to be back tonight. So there are some discrepancies. And it's going to be up for you to decide are they just making stuff up now? Uh, Cause they really just don't remember. They're all innocent, but they just really can't remember what it happened back in 2001 or they actually really do know what happened back in 2001, but they can't remember the lies they told back then. It will be up for you to decide. Is their memory perfect or is it memory imperfect? But that will be this Friday. Once again, you can look it up. It is on Charlie project. Frederick, Joseph Bain, B-O-E-H-M. Why it's pronounced that way, I don't know, but that's the way you pronounce it. Um, Michelle says, thank you for covering Little Joe's case. Uh, You're welcome. And we do talk a little bit about 
Uh, Janice Norwood, because uh, Jolene knew uh, Kimberly Norwood's mother, who died recently. And um, let's see, go down, got some things. I know I've missed some things here in talking. A lot of a lot of people chatting back and forth tonight. Um, Heather says Hannah posted a live video saying she was abducted by a black man who put her in a trunk. I just that just does not ring a bell to me. Um, a battery going that flat. Unfortunately, thank you. Um, Heather was later found and said she did. Uh, did research to write a novel. I just, once again, I'm sorry. It doesn't start ring a bell. I live in a little bit of a bubble. Uh, hello, Jill. Ms. Cat says I live in Missouri and would you wouldn't believe all the missing on the Charlie project. We've covered a few disappearances, of Missouri, uh, Ms. Cat. We surely do know. Um, Touching Heart says, Ed, do you ever do a podcast on the disappearance of Patty Adkins in Ohio? She was supposed to go on a vacation. I know that. Yeah, she worked at a Honda plant, right? And she was allegedly having an affair with a co-worker. Yeah, I, I know that. And I will tell you, Touching, we've tried to. That's all I can say about it. Uh, we've tried to. Uh, but I certainly do know about it. My assistant, Emily, surely knows about it as well. Uh, we've tried to, and that's all I want to say. Angela, thank you for the super chat contribution. Thanks for all your work. Thank you. Pleasure to listen. Thank you. I, we try to do our best. Thank you. Um, yeah, Ryan Flowers. Yeah. All right. That's all we got. I, that's a pretty complete show. A bunch of questions. Got to tell a 7-Eleven story. I'm um, going to be turning 50. On Saturday, I was and August 1st, 1970 was a Saturday, too. So it's like exactly, you know, it's the same day of the week and everything. So um, which is kind of cool. But uh, I don't have anything special planned. How could you? How could anybody? So I'll just be doing work. Uh, I got a newsletter. Can't forget about that. I got a newsletter to do between now and the end of Saturday, too. OK, I got a lot of writing to do over the next few days. Got to get it done. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Thank you for uh, all your support. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the great questions, all the great comments and everything. I, I enjoy this uh, time of the week. I hope you do, too. But uh, what did we do tonight? I always like to recap um, what we did. Talked, uh, did a little intro about birthday, the gun range today, do some disc golf. J, uh, Bucky Letney poll, Unfound on the Ground, Upcoming In Memoriams, some uh, uh, National Disappearances, Women Are Still Missing, Why Unfound Only Covers Disappearances, The Disappearance of Layla Cabot, uh, and then previewing Little Joe Bo Bain's um, Disappearance, and took a bunch of questions from all of you. I'm getting out of here. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support, and uh, you'll hear me Friday. Good night.